people, some people need a hand up. You know what I mean? Like, and at the end of the day, I think it's our job as a society members to help people get the hand up. And at the end of the day, we shouldn't be punishing. We shouldn't be, uh, we shouldn't be punishing people. We should be looking at ways to actually give them support so that they can actually learn something so that they can actually do something. And once again, it's not our, it's not our responsibility to shove it down people's throats. It's our responsibility to show it, I guess, <laughs> in a way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like, I guess my question on that note is, you know, again, like everything you're saying makes perfect sense to me. It's very like I'm on board with it, but I, it sounds like when, when you are trying to put those pitches to people, like to a voting base in the real world, you still encounter a lot of resistance. So like, is there something you've learned so far through activism and community organizing in terms of like, well, what is going to change someone's mind in terms of the messaging? Because like a lot of people have been making those very well thought out, detail oriented uh, arguments that like, this is the right thing to do. This is a cost effective thing to do. This is a more you know efficient thing to do. This will this and that. And it doesn't it, it still seems to like reach a limited group of people. So like, have you have you found ways that like you can kind of reach the undecided or that you can sway people who are resistant or on the fence that's kind of my question yeah uh you know i mean for me what's called something i even noticed that the city council campaign was that something i continually talked about was policing police funding uh you know i mean i chatted with a lot of folks about this and and this is something that a lot of folks especially in some in the suburbs weren't too happy about and actually i even got threatened about uh someone decided to threaten me about it, saying that he's ought to bash my head in for thinking of an idea like that. But, you know what I mean? So there's people like that, obviously. But uh, there's also other people, too, that are willing to actually have a conversation. Like, the people that are not willing to have a conversation about their views, it's useless. Like, I would suggest not even wasting your time with that. There's, like, you can typically tell this in about five minutes, less than five minutes, in having a conversation. There's also, also, I think there's also another group of people, too, where people, like, they have an idea, it's just a flawed idea, and they they want to learn. They want to they 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 know better to an extent. They just don't know how to express that. Finally, I think there's people that are undecided. You know what I mean? Where people don't really have an opinion on the issue. So for me, what's called my main target. It was actually ironically never the undecided. It was always the people that were in the middle, because I think at the end of the day, you know what I mean? If you can convince those people, undecided people. Are simple you know what I mean? it's really simple to get your point across and have these conversations too but for me when i knocked on doors i had tons and tons of conversations even volunteers you know what i mean like at the end of the at the end of the time what's called most volunteers some of volunteers came in was saying they weren't too sure about my plan to what's called reinvest police funding back into communities by the end they were completely sure but because at the end of the day having a conversation with someone having this having an idea like repeated having an idea actual logically thought through makes sense to people 